question was asked uh, for Dr. Shea. Do you perform fusion surgery even in patients with the continuous type OPLL? Well, uh, I think that that's uh, a great question. Um, there is still a risk of uh, progression, even with the continuous OPLL. I think the, um, the main you know, goal there would still be, you, know, you have adequate uh, uh, decompression, and then what's your cervical alignment in order to address um, the, um, uh, your goals of surgery. So uh, in general, I mean, I, I think it could be tricked into thinking that the continuous OPLL is a stable uh, disease state, but in, even in those cases, there are still risks of progression that's been seen. Uh, Professor Chiba states that in the case presented, he would choose a laminoplasty or laminectomy fusion. Uh, he thinks that for non-continuous OPLL with a mobile segment on CT, the laminectomy infusion is a good approach. Now, long-term results of laminoplasty for segmental OPLL with mobile segments were not as good as those for continuous OPLL without mobile segments. Any thoughts on that as a guide? And I'm sorry, Eric, that, that was from uh, our Professor colleagues in Japan. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's kind of interesting because when I, I was approaching this debate, I was a little conflicted because I'm, I'm so worried about uh, progression of OPLL that I've, I've kind of started fusing most of them and, and not doing laminoplasties. And, and, and so when I looked at the clinical practice guideline that our Japanese, co Japanese colleagues put forth, and they talk about the... Um, the, the, the lack of motion after laminoplasty, the potential risk for um, uh, kyphosis, I, I just thought about it, you know, do, does it make that much of a difference in patients that have a continuous OPLL, uh, does it make that much of a difference if you do a fusion? Uh, because if the advantage you get from that is that you prevent progression, uh, and the disadvantage is you have to do the fusion, but if the patient doesn't move that much anymore, I, I, just, I just wondered if it was, what, what would be the, um, the harm in doing a fusion. Um, so, so I, but I looked at that clinical practice guidelines that are a lot, I think a lot of our Japanese colleagues have been involved with, and it seems like, and, and I guess I'd, I'd be great to hear from them, uh, it just seems like for patients with continuous OPLL, they're not doing fusions. I, I was looking specifically to see whether they're doing fusions, and a lot of the studies basically say that they're doing mostly laminoplasties for that.